Introducing networks. Hi, I'm Dr. Nick and I'm going to explain what networks are and how we model them. I will also introduce you to some of the terminology we use in networks. Networks are graphical models which use nodes and arcs to represent connection and relationships. Arcs are lines that link pairs of nodes. The arcs can be used to represent physical things like roads or canals. Arcs can also represent abstract things like time passing or relationships. Similarly, nodes can represent physical locations such as bus stops or towns. Nodes can also represent other things like people, businesses or points in time. We might make a network model of a town or suburb. This could be used by a maps app to find a route or by a city council to work out where to put cycle lanes or the route for bin collection trucks. Electricity generation planners might use a network model to represent the rivers and canals in the Waitaki River system. An electrical manufacturer might represent a circuit board as a network model. An events planner might use a network model to schedule the activities needed to make sure that an event like the big day out runs smoothly. The terminology of networks. Nodes are sometimes called vertices. They can be represented by circles, just as intersections, or sometimes other shapes. It is possible to have a node in a network that is not connected to any arcs. Arcs are sometimes called edges or links. It is possible to have an arc leaving and entering the same node. Such arcs are called loops. Directed networks. Sometimes arcs are given directions and are called directed arcs, for example to represent one-way streets or the passage of time. Networks containing directed arcs are called directed networks. Connected networks. A network is connected if every node can be reached from every other node by travelling the arcs. The direction of arcs is ignored if we are trying to determine if the network is connected. Path. A path is a sequence of joined arcs moving through a network. If the network has directed arcs, the directions must be maintained. A path might only visit some nodes, might visit all nodes, or might visit some nodes more than once. Circuit. A circuit is a path that starts and finishes at the same node. Circuits are sometimes called cycles. When we analyse a network, we often need to find paths or circuits. Weights. Arcs can be given numerical values or weights. Weights can represent things like distances, times, capacities or costs. For example, for a network representing streets, the weights might represent the distances between adjoining locations, the time to travel between them, or the cost of paving the road represented by the arc. Sometimes when we analyse a network, the weights are used to find out something about the network. For example, travel times might be used to find the fastest route between two nodes, while costs might be used to find the cheapest way to connect the neighbourhood with fibre optic cables. As you can see, there are many ways network models can be used to help solve real world problems. This video has been brought to you by Statistics Learning Centre. Visit our website to find more resources to help you learn.